I didn't finish chucking her, did I? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a blooper in just about every video. So, oh, today, today to conquer my nemesis, Harvey Field. It's not very far from here. It's just, it's right, see, it's, it's right over there. The crazy thing about Harvey Field is it's, it's really not a difficult airport. It's a little unusual. It's got a smaller, well, an unusual pattern. Uh, it's tucked down into a valley. It's kind of a, it's very narrow, especially the taxiways. And it's a challenge, especially when you got a lot of wind, um, you know, a crosswind, because you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room shall we say, um, when you're on a really tight runway. So I did a previous video that didn't, didn't have a whole lot of audio to it. It was a lot of overdubbing. I didn't have my uh, audio setup that I have now. Or you probably would have heard a lot of Oh my God. Because I have yet to have a really decent landing at that airport. And it's not that airport's fault. It's definitely m me. Um, but the the thing is, it's not fair to the airport because it's my abilities. And I haven't really flown a whole lot into that. I probably have made maybe a half dozen landings into that airport. And the one time I made just a total screecher all the way down the runway. It was on a really nice day, and the buzz in had its patio packed with people, and it was just probably the most embarrassing moment um, as for myself as a pilot, uh, coming around the corner and having everybody stare at me, watching me just leave black marks all the way down the runway. So today is that day. Uh, the weather. It's starting to degrade a little bit, so we're gonna hop in Sheila real quick, uh, head over to Harvey, and then head over to Monroe, and uh, we're gonna get some stamps. And actually, I should show you what those stamps look like. Ta-da, I'm back. <laughs> so this is what we call the our Fly Washington passport. Uh, I've heard a couple guys actually say, you know, hey, when the tower asks them, hey, where would you like to park? And people say, oh, I need to go get my passport stamp. They send them over to customs. That's not what this is. So what we have in here are, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six distinct regions inside of Washington. And each one has its own little area over here. And inside there has spaces available to put stamps. So whenever you travel to a particular airport, you go find this little green mailbox. Get your stamp and write in your dates. The cool thing about this is, is with this program, the region uh, awards um, a patch, a sticker, I think, a uh, patch uh, for that area. So you can get the Olympic area, you can get the Southwest region, Central region. And if you get all of the airports, which I think there's about 135 to fact check that one um, all those airports if you get the entire state and I've got a friend Andy you know who you are he was number one we witnessed it well not personally but we know he was the first one and he got a jacket so uh, which is kind of cool I mean if you're kind of into that thing Andy and <laughs> so um, so today, we're going to go collect a couple more stamps, one at Snohomish and the one in Monroe, and then uh, we'll come back. And uh, hopefully I won't embarrass myself and Harvey. Ooh, that Harvey Field. Take that. My name is Christopher. I've been a commercial aircraft mechanic for three decades. I started in general aviation and always wanted to fly, but I got that chance several years ago and earned my private pilot license. I'm single engine C and land rated with a high power and tailwheel endorsement. And now I'm sharing my passion in hopes it will inspire others to pursue their dreams. So I invite you to take a seat and ride along with me as we look at the world from above.
checklist, please. Before start, pre flight's done. I'm the only passenger and I am completely briefed. Seat belts are secured, fuel selector is on. The biggest tank, radios are off. Circuit breakers are all checked. All right, brakes. Master, mixture. Visibility one zero, ceiling one one thousand broken. Temperature one seven dew point five, altimeter three zero one four. Visual approach units, line of parking runway three four left, three four right. Advise initial contact of information India. The speed talker. <laughs> you got India. What what? B four taxi nav lights. They are on. Brakes are set. Cabin doors are latched and locked. Flight controls. Goes up. That one goes up. That goes down. That goes down. Rudder. All is correct in the world. Flight instruments. 314. 314. Transponder in to stand by. Let's get up here so they can see us. Paint ground. Stenson 9250 Kilo is uh, East Condos. We'd like to be eastbound. We have information India. Stenson 9257 Kilo Paint ground. Runway 34 right. Taxi via Fox Shot. 3-4 right via Fox Trot, 5 zero kilo. Alright, taxi light on. Number 443 Kilo Pain Tower, runway 3-4 right, clear for takeoff, on course approved. Fox Trot, Julia Fox Trot, runway 3-4 left, clear to left. Runway 34 right, clear for takeoff, eastbound approved. Eastbound approved, clear for takeoff on uh, 34 right for 50 kilo. November 28 echo, runway 34 left, clear to land. 
Clear to land. Three four left. Mooney one Ocean to an echo. Runway three right. four right. Lights. Entered Camera. runway three four right. Two thousand eight hundred feet remaining. Not even gonna need half of that. All right. Files clear. Lights here. Not off to a good start here. But, all right. Little bit of uh, left to right. Lights, camera, action. All right, heels down. Now we're coming in.
screech, but man, it is squirrely. Woo! I don't think I've ever had a really good landing in this bofo. Field. 
uh, just a couple days ago. So I am just gonna head on back home. Uh, that way I can be with all my tools and my hangar. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna let everybody know that we're uh, we're taxiing out. And Harvey Area Traffic Stinson, 9250 Kilo is uh, taxiing out of the ramp uh, to runway 33. Harvey. And tail is not hooked up. Yeah, it is now. I'm do the biggest turn here. Can't see over the nose. narrow taxiways here. One thing about tailwheel, you cannot divert your attention for a split second. This airplane. Probably traffic, uh, if I'm Julie Tango, just to the north of the field, gonna transition over the field 1500, and to drop in for a left downwind for runway 33, full stop, Harvey. Will, you cannot divert your attention for a split second. Especially when you've got a narrow margin here with the uh, these taxiways. This, this is barely wide enough for the tires to fit on. So the noise abatement out here is once you hit the river, which is just on the other side of the uh, departure into the runway, we're gonna be making a left-hand turn and following the river up. They do not want you following over the top of the town. So this is a uh, public use airport, but it is privately owned and uh, that house over there is where the Harveys live. It's the name Harvey Field. So shout out to these guys. Uh, they do a fantastic, fantastic job uh, with uh, the, uh, the upkeep of this, uh, there's a lot of grass out here to mow. So these guys do a great job of, uh, you know, clean facilities. Um, but it's 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 hemmed in in a really tight tight spot. Hey, Chubby, it's at nine zero Tango, beating the two drop engine in Dallas. Uh, TT is at nine zero Tango, highway traffic. Traffic at 5 9 Joe Tango going around runway 33 Harvey. And Harvey Air Traffic, Stinson 50 Kilo is uh, going to be taking uh, runway 33 behind the Skyline, and we are headed westbound. Harvey. Hi. Harvey Traffic, helicopter 242 Alpha, A Star helicopter is about halfway between Payne and Harvey, heading northbound. 1,200 feet. Alright, Stetson has the uh, helicopter. Harvey. Alright. Uh, you on the upwind now? Uh, negative. I'm uh, about ready right here to roll here in a little bit. Harvey. Approaching runway yeah, I got you there. Alright. Make sure we're hooked up. Alright. Lights.
Uh, we park over at East Condos, uh, a beam, Foxtrot 3. 750 Kilo, Roger, right turn, when able, taxi to parking via Foxtrot, this frequency, have a good night. Alright, uh, we'll stay with you and uh, taxi via Foxtrot for parking, 50 Kilo. Oh. 
my, oh my, oh my. I have not bounced this airplane and I can't tell you when. Oh. Oh, not a good day. But, you know, it's always a learning process. I bet that looked glorious from the ground. <laughs> oh my god, that sucked. That was a hard way to get a stamp, man. Really hard. that bounce really really well. I was really kind of really proud of myself there. Not like I should really be patting myself on the back for that. Get to see how that one looks on film. So anyway. Um, that's, that's part of the process of getting better is you gotta go out and you gotta go and fly in days that aren't ideal sometimes and you know and that's sometimes is the result so so in hindsight with that landing in Harvey that was actually pretty decent where I got in trouble was trying to get my feet down uh, not down trying to get my feet up to the brakes and that's where that kind of little swerve came from because the wind was coming off the left hand side push the tail to the right and that's what caused the nose to go to the left so uh, that's just a kind of a nature of the beast you got to be really kind of cognizant and maneuver your feet up to grab the brakes um, that what I just did here uh, <laughs> that the only thing I can explain that bounce was shortly after I landed they switched the flow and I must have had like a little bit of a tailwind but it was definitely um, it was definitely variable so um, I I haven't bounced an airplane like that and I can't remember how long and especially with this airplane because Sheila's got some fantastic landing gear these are some serious members here they go all the way up and on the inside there are these struts and these struts are heavy duty. That landing gear is beefy. I mean, it is solid. Actually, I got some over there. Now, you can practically drive this airplane into the ground and it won't bounce. And I just proved myself wrong with that because I drove it into the ground and <laughs> went for a ride. So, um, yeah, that was, that was very atypical of uh, some of my landings. <laughs> You know, you win some, and then some aren't so great. So, win at Harvey, scratched at Monroe, because there's something going on with the prop with uh, starting the engine for some reason. Either the starters wore out or maybe the battery. Um, the terminals are all cleaned up, and so I need to do some more troubleshooting on that. But uh, other than that, it flies good once it's started. So, thanks for uh, joining me on conquering Harvey we'll, we'll do this again we'll, we'll make this another priority to go out there and and uh, get a nice buttery smooth landing I, this was one of those days where I was watching the weather all day today and it was nice and calm and then all of a sudden I open up my hangar doors and get all this crappy ass wind coming from all kinds of different directions so it's really hard to it's, it's extremely hard to uh, pull off a nice smooth landing when when the air is pushing you all over the place so but yeah so it is what it is so all right hey thanks for sticking around see you on the next one another sync was it but yeah easy for me to say <laughs>